already, which is so weird. I started vlogging yesterday. Um, I went to my favorite coffee shop, got a bunch of work done. Yesterday was like work mode for me. I had like so much stuff to do. So today we're gonna be vlogging a little. Oh, and the coffee shop I was at is called Tate. Um, I went to the one on Summer Street in Boston. So if you just Google or like go on your maps and do Tate Summer Street, you'll find that exact one. I like it the best personally. They have so many different locations, but I feel like that one just has like way more seating and it's more organized. Um, that's just me though. I just got this package. Well, I ordered it yesterday, yesterday, and it already came and I'm like so excited because I've been contemplating if I should get these for like the longest time. As you guys know, I just hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, and I wanted to like treat myself and yeah, so I got, so I got these and I've literally been waiting so long, which also I want to say thank you for 200,000 subscribers. For me, it's really truly like not about the number. Like I would rather have like a small group of people who like truly love me for who I am than like a million people who like don't have my best interests, don't have the best like vibes and energy and stuff like that. So you guys get what I'm saying, but I'm so lucky because all of you guys are like so amazing and supportive and I love you so much. And yeah, now let's look at what I got. So I ordered a pair of earrings from Jennifer Fisher. It's a company out of New York. And these are the ones that I got. Do, 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 do. Whoa, this is like a big pack for only a little pair of earrings. They came in this like cool Jennifer Fisher black bag. <gasps> oh. And these are them. So the reason why I love them so much and I'm so excited for them is because they are the perfect thick chunky hoop, but they're like small. Also, the reason behind them is that, so you guys know I love Hailey Bieber and she always has like the most perfect hoops on. And like I can never find ones that look like that. Like they always, I don't know, like they're not as like chunky but like small and I find that like when I buy ones that are like cheap, they hurt my ears and they like feel like a hundred pounds and then I never wear them because I'm like, oh, these hurt so bad. But truly, like, my only hoops that I wear are my Madewell hoops because, I don't know, I just, like, wear those ones all the time. And I need, like, a everyday small little chunk. And these are them. And these are the same ones that she has. And I'm so excited. <laughs> you guys don't even know. Like, they feel like I'm not even wearing anything in my ears. This is so weird. But, yeah, Jennifer Fisher is just, like, really good quality um, jewelry, a lot of, I know like a lot of people wear her hoops actually, but I know that Haley wears them all the time. Ooh, guys, they're so cute. I'm obsessed with them. Oh, I feel like I can like wear them every day of my life. Like not have to ever take them out. See, they're like, oh my God. They're like the perfect chunk too. They're like, oh. To you guys in a while my skin is going through oh like it just went through like a purge last week because when you start to use new products like your skin will react to it so i have like all these little like marks from where my skin was like purging all the bad stuff out um but anyway oh my god so i got one of these things <laughs> if you guys know you know i like can't say it because she'll wake up hello alexa Never mind. <laughs> but anyway, so I got one and it's like freaking me out, but it's like kind of cool when I like tell her to do stuff and she'll like play my music or tell me the weather. And yeah. Oh, also these slides have been like, I don't know. They're like kind of growing on me. They're from Amazon and they were like $20, but I just needed like a plain black slide and I couldn't find any, like anywhere without them being the Adidas ones with the three stripes. So I looked on Amazon and I found them and they are like actually kind of like really comfortable and um, like cushiony so kind of like them. This is like the dilemma I have today so I'm gonna go grab a coffee but I don't know, I don't know like if it's raining, I can't tell. And then like 
I don't know, I'm worried that it's gonna like start pouring once I get there because I wanna walk. I'm really into walking. Um, every morning I usually just take my headphones and then put a podcast on. Um, my two favorite podcasts are Gals on the Go and The Skinny Confidential. And I listen to an episode and then walk to get a coffee. I usually pick a coffee shop that's about like a mile or more from my apartment and I'll just walk, enjoy the outdoors, the sunshine if it's sunny. Um, and it just makes me feel so good because I end up walking like two and a half miles and it's really nice. So I love doing that. Um, I'm really into that right now, especially since like living in the city. It like sucks driving places and I would drive places all winter just because it was so cold and like I had my car so it was like convenient for me. Um, so I think I'm gonna go walk but I don't know like what the deal is with this weather. I have all these lip glosses in my bag. You guys probably can't see that at all but I have like so many different ones. I've been trying out a lot of new ones lately and I really like some of them. Where's the other one I just had? I was like just about to put it on my lips. But anyway, I have like a ton right here in the middle of my island and I've been like trying them for a few weeks now and I'm excited because I want to like show you guys and like tell you all about them, like which ones I like, which ones make my lips dry, which ones are sticky and I have so many. So excited, we're gonna do like a spring nude lip segment because I'm. you guys know I'm really into lip products. So, oh, this one's really bomb. The Fenty. This one's good too. Where's that stupid one that I was just looking for? Oh, here it is. So, then I just got this one from Whole Foods and it's a good like chapstick. This is just what it looks like. And I really like it. So, let's go get a coffee and hopefully it's not gonna start raining on me. I'm making some lunch now. Oh, I just wanna show you guys the price of the piece of salmon I just got four dollars from Whole Foods and I'm gonna make a big salad and then put some salmon on top but basically what I was gonna tell you guys was it's crazy how like you can save money just by cooking at home like if I were to order a salad with salmon from a restaurant it would have been like twenty dollars so I have my salmon right here which is four dollars and then over here I just bought um, two big things of kale because I'm gonna make a salad out of one and then use this for my juice today and tomorrow. And then I just picked up some of this chickpea miso, which Kenzie's talked about to make a dressing, just with like some olive oil and then squeeze some lemon. And I also picked up these shots because I'm not really feeling that well, so I really like the Vive Organic Immunity Boost and Wellness Rescue Shots. This one is amazing because it has this right here, elderberry, which is like really good for when you're getting sick and stuff. Um, these just like make me feel a lot better. After I got home from Coachella, I like had these religiously and felt so much better. So I'm gonna whip up a quick lunch um, and then I might honestly go to the infrared sauna. I picked up one of these pamphlets, so I'm gonna read through it and like do some research on that and then maybe go try to do that because my back has been hurting me all week and I haven't worked out, so I wanna go see if that'll like help make me feel better. So we are done with all the prep. Now I'm just taking all this kale that I put in this big bowl. Um, I massaged it with some olive oil. So what I mean by that is I put kale, you know how like if you guys know what kale looks like, it's just like hard and stiff. I massaged it with olive oil to make it like soft and I put some pepper and then squeezed a whole lemon. So I probably am gonna have like extra, but it's okay, I'll save it for like a salad for, yeah, I do have extra. I'll save it for a salad for tomorrow for lunch, which is completely fine. So put that to the side. So here we have the kale. Um, I'm probably gonna add some of these little tomatoes on top too. We have that. And the salmon just got out of the oven, so I'm gonna put this on top and then drizzle a little bit more um, lemon. Lunch of the day. This is the finished product. Super easy and simple and healthy. <laughs> this is like a perfect meal you can like cook at nighttime, put in the fridge, um, take it the next day for lunch. If you just put the time into cooking, you can eat like really good, healthy, clean foods, and they actually don't cost a lot. So, just goes to show you that you can get a meal for like, uh, this is like uh, under $10, probably like 
six. <laughs> and this is something that if you were to order it out, it would cost a lot more expensive. So this is just what I'm having for lunch today. So yummy, I'm so excited to eat this. I just prepped a ton of veggies. I'm gonna make a juice actually in a little while, just for like a little afternoon pick me up. So I have a whole cucumber, some celery, romaine, um, lemon, ginger, kale. All veggies, very nutritious. This is like my favorite juice that I usually get at the juice bar and it costs like $10. So making it at home is just a lot better, gonna save me some more money. And honestly, it's like therapeutic for me to like stand here and cut up all the veggies and like wash them and prep them. And it's so satisfying once it's done. I feel like it just makes it like 10 times better drinking the juice. Okay, time to make the juice. I've actually never used my juicer to make like a juice with vegetables. I only used to make celery juice with it um, so we're gonna see how this goes and see how it tastes my mom used to always make juice with juicers growing up so with our like juices that we have at home so this is like my first time but <laughs> we have all the veggies right here and yeah so I'll set you guys up and you can watch me Saying that all those veggies only made that much juice. So I think I'm gonna put some more kale in it. Um, but yeah, it smells really, really good. Actually, <laughs> I totally like didn't know how much was actually in there. So yeah, it filled this whole entire glass. I didn't need any more kale or anything, but it looks so good and it smells so good. So it's like my little afternoon drink to give me some more energy. And I think I might be going out to dinner with Marcus tonight. I don't know yet what we're doing, but we're trying to figure it out right now. Him and I might do Italian, and I'm going home for Emma's prom tomorrow, so. And Tyler has um, to help his grandfather with something, so he is not gonna be able to come with me, um, which I'm really sad about now because I thought that we were gonna be able to go together and we were gonna like go to dinner and stuff, but now he's not doing, like he can't come, so I have to go by myself, and yeah. So I'm just gonna spend the night here in Boston and it's Friday by the way. Um, probably like go to dinner with Marcus and stuff, but he's at work right now and he has berries after work. So we will figure it out. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. Wow, I'm never gonna buy a juice when I have time to make one. This is really good. I put romaine instead of spinach and it honestly adds like, I don't know. What I used, it was really, really nice. I put a whole lemon, ginger, a whole, Thing of celery a whole entire um you guys already saw what i put i like literally showed it but it's really good and really really like refreshing oh, my phone is like taking forever to charge and it needed to charge i'm because i'm going to the infrared sauna marcus is so funny him and i made dinner reservations for tonight so i'm like really excited to see him and we're gonna go to my favorite italian restaurant in boston benevettos i'm so excited Oh my god, there's a plane taking off. I love being able to see planes taking off like out my window and then I like go on my app and I like track where they're going. But anyway, he's like sending me all these photos of hotels in London because he's studying abroad next semester and so I'm gonna go visit him and him and I are gonna go to London. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so much fun. Emma just tried to FaceTime me. But anyway, while I have you guys here before she calls again, I just went through my closet. I'm really into like paring down right now. I'm doing like Marie Kondo because I just, my apartment you guys would have seen in the tour was just like way too overwhelming. So I'm like really paring down my closet. I want to have like, uh, see here she is, one second. Okay, hi, sorry. So I'm just like paring down things in my closet right now and I am just trying to like get organized and really make sure I don't have like any more clutter around my apartment. So I'm going to be doing like an updated apartment tour since 
I like rearranged and stuff. Oh, and I'm in front of my window and my desk isn't there anymore, which is really different. But you guys already know I sell my stuff on Poshmark. So I will leave a link in the description um, at the top. So if you don't have Poshmark, you can download the app using that link. Just click. And also my username is at Emmy McDonald. If you already have Poshmark, I will leave it right here for you on the screen. But you guys already know, like I sell my stuff on Poshmark. And yeah, you guys can check it out. I have some things that... I'm gonna be posting um, just these leggings that I honestly don't wear because I don't love this color on me. Like I always try to make dark green happen, but it's just like never gonna happen. So I have those, I have these champion sweatpants because I just got these ones right here from Aritzia. They're like the same style, just oversized gray boyfriend sweatpants. So I was like, I don't need more. I'm just gonna like pare down. So I'm gonna be selling those. They're in literally perfect condition. I have a bodysuit right here which is just blue lace, it's super cute. And then a few things that are just printed. Um, I have this cheetah or like leopard print top. And then this really cute IMG bodysuit that is like super soft. I really, really like that. So these are like some amazing pieces. And then also I have this really cute top for spring. It's just like a white eyelet top. Looks super cute with a pair of like boyfriend jeans or something. So I have these items that I'm gonna be posting. I'm just trying to like get rid of a few things like when I get new things, if that makes sense. I have a pile of clothes that I just got over here. I bought some stuff, um, an outfit for Emma's prom pictures tomorrow, a new skirt, new pair of pants. I got these at um, Aritzia, they were having a sale. So I just picked up a few new things. These are, oh, these are cool. You guys will see these tonight. I'm gonna wear them out to dinner. They're like these really flared pants from Aritzia. So those are awesome. Um, but if you guys wanna check out my Poshmark, I will leave the link, you can download the app. Also, comment down your usernames because a few of you guys were like messaging me telling me that you actually found products that you were like looking for through other people's Poshmarks because of like the comments. Like somebody said that they had like a specific pair of like Lululemon leggings that in a color that you were looking for. And I thought that it was so cool that you guys can like find items on Poshmark that they don't sell anymore and that like they don't have in your area, but other people could have them, you know? I have found like different things on Poshmark that I was like looking for. Like, you know how Brittany Melville only has certain things at certain locations and they had like those cropped t-shirts that said Colorado on them for like the longest time and they just like never had them in Boston when I was looking for them but I actually found one on Poshmark because my sister had one and she would never let me wear it so I bought one on Poshmark and they just like have things that um, you like wouldn't be able to get in stores anymore and also stuff at a discounted price which I think is great and also just being able to like resell your clothes um, is a good way to like obviously like recycle them and stuff So if you guys want to check out my Poshmark again, it's just at Emmy McDonald I'll leave a link for you guys to check out but I am gonna head to the sauna now my phone is on 20 Like why is my phone not charging, but I don't know what to wear there. I think I'm just gonna wear like a sports bra and a pair of little shorts let's see what i have yeah i'll probably just end up wearing like these black shorts right here um and a black sports bra but i just wanted to update like, my vlog i was vlogging today but Marcus is here and we're gonna go to dinner and dinner. we're gonna go to dinner babe <laughs> some people message me still and they're like dinner and I'm like yeah dinner um but we're having my wine my 200k wine <laughs> that table rock sent me oh my god it was so funny I got the wine in the mail I'm like texting Marcus freaking out I'm like a bottle of wine came like I don't know who it's from there was no card like I'm so scared and all my friends were like, it's poison, like throw it away. Marks is like, I'll drink it first. And it ended up being from like my management and um, I got like flowers today from them too, which they're like so pretty. I just posted an Instagram photo with them and I like really love them. And yeah, so it came with that and then it also came with a card like congratulating me for 200,000 subscribers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, but we're going to go to dinner and it's 8.45. Oh my God, he's so funny. He goes, I'll have an app for you in two weeks that will do that for you. Okay, dinner. <laughs> 
but um yeah so we're drinking the rosé now and i usually don't like i don't know i tried this wine at whole foods they were I doing like a rosé tasting and i like didn't like it when i did the tasting really? maybe because it was in like a little like plastic cup <laughs> and it was like yeah. a little sip i was like it probably wasn't cool. and i tried one yeah no it wasn't and i tried oh, one yeah. before it too so maybe like my palate was messed up i think but we're to the place we're going to like marcus is obsessed with so i'm like excited to show you guys it oh my outfit's all white and it's from ritzia marcus take us the way <laughs> i'm worried my camera's gonna die but we're going to like a really cool place how do you say it Yvonne's. Yvonne's. I always call it Jonas. <laughs> but like, I don't know how to say it. Oh, this is cool. No, like seriously, because it, it's in a low bun. I need like a black scrunchie. So I changed my outfit. I use NARS. But this is my outfit, you guys. I changed it from all white to all black. Actually, I'll show you in the big mirror. My Urban Outfitters bodysuit. Oh I am so Gia. Um, just fab heels. And then my Fendi bag. So this is like my vibe for the night. It's all black. And this is the vibe. I just wanted to say hi. Love you. And we had so much fun at dinner. I'm going to end off the vlog. I'll see you guys in my next one.